Okay. Right? You want to take a picture of it? Take a screenshot. No, I got it. Okay. You got it? So we make that a temporary. Are you filming? Yep. Now we lock it in. That's temporary. Now, because it's got a temporary address, this is only temporary, right. we should theoretically be able to go to RS Links. My thing is dying. Uh, let me get my phone. So RS, RS Links is going to come up now, right? We'll see it. It'll be, it'll be there, but it's not it's temporary right. format. There, we'll lock it into. Then it will go away. Right. Yeah, it'll be permanent. Put this thing right into my thing. I don't think I turned my computer off today. No, you don't. Is it on? Unless your brain turned off. I don't see your computer being turned off. It's on. No, it's not oh, charging. Okay. Yeah, now yeah, it is. Yeah, it's charging. Okay, yeah. So I don't want to die here. We're like so close. Wait, uh, there. Oh, that is. Okay. Oh, that was that. Oh, I'm sorry. I did have something. Okay, so that's temporary. Now we go to RS Links. Right. Um, it's not running here, so I gotta run it from here. And sometimes on the newer stuff, it doesn't run in the tray. RS links. Right. And now, if I go to my Ethernet IP, I don't know, everything's different now. If I go to my Ethernet IP driver, it's gonna find one address. Yeah. Even though it's temporary, that address is temporary. That's hard to understand. I understand temporary. But so it's gonna, it's gonna have a bunch of crap here, but it's gonna gray them out or X them out, except for the one that we just put in. This is all searching all the stuff we're connected to. So eventually we're gonna get, yeah. now, here it is, one thing one. one thing found right here. Right here. And that's because we put it in temporary, this is not permanent. So you gotta go to this, right click on it. This normally should work in your computer. Right click and do properties and stuff, or device properties, try that. All right. Uh, nope, uh, shit. Close, close, it. close it, yeah. Go back to the, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, double click on it. Does it have something for network settings? I double click it. Is it open? No. Let's click it again. Is there another setting? It's got to be something to set the... Uh, Configure drive? No. Uh, go to nothing in it. Try the security. Something's got to give us a thing to set the damn address on it. No? I'll tell you what. Let's go to a web page and try to open a web page of that address. And see if it got it on the website, if we could set it with the website. I don't know. We're trying here. We got it. We're connected to it. Right. We don't know how to. Let's type in that address. 192.168.0.5. It may just be informational. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to the TCP. Is it going to let me set it? No. TCP. Configure. Okay. That's mail server. Uh, shoot. There may be. I forget how to do it, but I think there's a way to, if we can't do that, we can go here, or back to the, let me try one more time here if there's anything in here, let me just see. There's no, oh wait, is there something up here? Wait, why are we jammed up? What happened here? Oh, we got this guy. That's something else. That's why. Here we go. Ah, shoot, it just went away or something. No, it's not a first 40. Oh, there we go. Let me see if there's, there's nothing in device properties. I thought there was something in here. Let me try it configured. I, I'm going to try it just with the phone number. There is a way through the boot key we can basically set it for a deep switch. No, shit. Uh, large icon. There's a way. Ah, shoot. It keeps cutting in and out. Where'd it go? 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 It's still, it's still Let's see if it's finding it in boot key. If, if, if not, we can do it. See, it keeps finding 28. Is it going to go 29? Can we lose it? We can click this, and then I think it's disable boot key. I'm not sure. Force selected device to retain. That's what it is. For, disable. We have to get back connected. It might be the cable might have came out. We have to, my cable's fucked up. Ah oh, shit. Hold that cable in. Then we're gonna hit the disable and it should lock it in. Let me see if it counts for 29. Can we find it? Let me see if we get it to 29. It's not seeing it anymore. Once we get it to go again, oh, it should be. Uh, is it going? Did it count to 29? Nope. Hit the disable boot key anyway. See if it goes and does anything. It like cut out on us for some reason. Shit. Is it? Did it, did it do anything? It says, it said, uh, type is booting now. It's on the bottom. 
successful. Let's try to see if we can ping it from over here. It's coming. Hey, look, look at the card. Oh, yeah. It's coming up. It's got one more. It's on. So you got the address. You're on. Now we just got to get it so it's permanent. Well, I think it might have been permanent. See if you can go to uh, go to the command prompt. Or just go here. See the hourglass or the search yeah. code? Type the CMD. Uh, CMD for command. Okay. And then enter, and it's going to come up with a black screen. And now type... Uh, oh, hit, hit uh, yeah. Okay, type P-I-N-G. And then space. Yeah, ping it. Yeah, yeah, the 192. Is you want space? 192. Yep. Dot 168. One, dot 168. Dot zero. Dot zero. Dot, dot five. five. And let's see if it goes from there. That means it's set. It may not be. It may not have went. Let's hit enter and see if it goes. Oh, it's talking. It's talking to so it. So we just set it. That disabled boot P locked it in permanently. Help. Sometimes in RS Links, the yeah. computer doesn't work. So now let's reason. come out of let's come out of that where we have this all these X's and let's see if it comes up. Wait, here it is. All the power flexes. Yeah. Are up. Now, if you go back, if you want to make sure it's got all the parameters, right? Because it may have other parameters besides IP address. If you just change, well, all you did was change the com card. All right? I did a com card. You all want to test if everything works? Yeah, yeah. You it should work now. Yeah, we're on. Let's test if it works. If not, what we'll do but, is we'll go to here with the, with the PLC uh, program. It's okay. got all the parameters for that drive, and yep. it's listed in the tree. Yeah, but so we, we select the drive, and then there's a tab called Drive under that drive in the we'll, Ethernet tree we saw. And we see that. And we could send it to it, which is basically downloading. The drive is going to download the parameters. If there's other parameters. But apparently, we just changed the Ethernet port. That's all I did. Yeah. And we disabled Group P. Your Group P wasn't working because this computer's a little funky. That, yeah. But this one came right up, and we were able to set it, so that worked. It was good. So all we do is bring it up on that and the boot key file up that comes up, you'll have 05. Yeah, I disabled my Wi-Fi. I put right. this in. We set our IP address so that we can talk to it once it's changed. Once it comes up. It doesn't have an IP address. It also has a MAC address. Right, so we type, we type in the MAC address. We went in. Boy, it came up in boot key. Right. Where's the boot key? Uh, boot key's on the bottom. It yeah. came up and it found it and it kept counting. It kept 28. It found it 28 times. And you had to enter the IP address that we saw. I added a relation and it made a relation, but yeah. that was, right. that's the part that's temporary. The computer thinks that that MAC address, when it sees it, it's just, is 192.168. Right. But it doesn't know to make it permanent until I send, send the command. When I disable the boot key, it sends a command to make it permanent to the drive. Okay. So that's why I made it permanent. So, so now, we double click. When did we send it permanent? Because we did like six things. Oh, go back to the boot key. Uh, I'll show you where it is. So boot key, uh, next one, that one there. Oh. Yeah. So in Boop P, we found it here. Oh, shit. Go oh, back it here? Boop P. That's RS Links. Boop P. So we typed it. This came up automatically. Okay. We, we turned off the Wi-Fi. Okay, and yeah. Here, here's the address. Okay. So we made the relationship, which was this number. And that number. That's a relationship only in this computer. The right. computer only sees the MAC address. It doesn't see the IP. We spooked it so that the computer, when it's when it's, it thinks it's 192. Okay. So it sees any traffic coming from this MAC address. Right. The MAC address is a different layer of it's the a Ethernet. Different level, yeah. Yeah, so it does, it's bullshit. But it, we use IP addresses, not the MAC address. We, we, use IP, we use IP addresses, not the MAC. Right. So we spooked out this MAC address to show up as this IP. Gotcha. Then it came down here, and what we did was we just disabled it. We and when disabled we disabled it, it sent it to the thing to be permanent. And then the 192 permanent. It made it permanent when we disabled gotcha. it. Yeah, if you hover over disable, it'll say make it permanent, you know? Yep. Let's see, hover over disable, and it'll say make it permanent. I don't know. It says, uh, what does it say? Like, Force selected device to retain the configuration. Retain the configuration means the IP address. Oh, so it's going to remember it on the next cycle. Yeah, so it should. It should and we, we pinged it from here, so I think that drive is set. So I'll turn it off, turn it on, and make sure it is coming back up. Yeah, we can shut it down. You want to power it up or something? No, or no, something? I can do it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have, or you want to just, it's in there. It's yeah. going to do it real fast. Well, I'm going to do it, shut this off. We got D. Uh, exit out of that, yeah, you can exit, escape, escape in the top left. There you go. Just did escape a bunch of times. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I just want to make sure it comes back up. As long as I know that's permanent, and I know we're set. Yeah, I'll cycle the power in the drive and then see if it... Now, if we can still ping it, yeah, we should be good. Yeah. Excellent. Crazy Greg, what's up, buddy? Woo! Ow! What's your name again? <laughs> He's recording this whole thing. That'd be great. I can't wait to just go to the Apple and go like, go like, oh, all crazy great violations, you know? Session. Woo! 
He's taping this up. I'm going to keep my mouth shut right now. Yeah, you got to be careful. This is all on video. Be like, oh, let me take some of us. Oh, thank you. I love Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is for training. I go to him all the time. For training purposes only. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go back up. As long as we're back on, we're on. Well, we want to ping it right from there. How you know it's going to be on? Well, See, I still got D24 for some reason. Get uh, Jonathan. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, wait. Hey, how are you pulling it? Jonathan. Might start. Huh? 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 Well, we have cases in the way or we can try it out. Right. I'm going to see the manually open and close. Yeah, you know, is that the same one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's see. Got numbers on that one? Okay. Got it running. Go, I, I'll show you. You go down for a What are you doing right now? I'm setting it back down to show it hurts. It's just a display. Amps. It's going to show amps. Okay. Well, they want hurts. Okay. I'll put it back on hurts. Uh, D2. Okay. Hurts. Okay. You good? I think so. All right, try it out. Watch it, watch it. Ah. So what? Record the numbers as they go from that. Okay.
Good. Are you going to try to bring cases? Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Now I got to get it back into sequence. Now we're out of sequence. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're out of sequence? Exactly. All right. So How you do that? You shut the. All right.